In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create custom Google Maps with you and your students. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Google, uh, your Google Maps, so www.google.com forward slash my maps. And then you're going to create a new map. And here you can see I have a map of the United States. I'm just going to change the name of it and call it my Civil War map. And here I can start adding layers and information. I'm going to kind of zoom in here on Pennsylvania. And here we see the eastern part of the United States. We can see Harrisburg, Winchester, Virginia, Washington, D.C. So let's say we want to create some information about the Getty Battle of Gettysburg where the Confederates camped and Chambersburg and they had some troops at Carlisle and then finally they made it back down to Gettysburg right there on our map so we come up here to the top and we can add a marker so in our marker we're going to add a place for Chambersburg and we can say that the Confederates camped here June 30th, 1863. Now if I want to, I can add a photo in here. So I click on the add image or video. And here I have the Google search. So I can type in uh, Chambersburg Civil War. And this will bring up some images for me. So I'm just going to use this one. And there you can see I have got an image, Chambersburg Civil War. Let's add another one. So here I can add another marker. There were some troops that went to Carlisle, up to Dickinson College and, and the U.S. Army War College. And I'm going to add a photo here, change Chambersburg to Dickinson College. There's a nice image. I'm going to add that one in there too. And then finally, I'm going to add one down here in Gettysburg. Now, you can do this with individual troop movements. You can do this with General Army. You can do it for any battle that leading up to uh, the Civil War. You can do it for hometowns, whatever you'd like to do to add information about a particular battle or unit that you're focusing on. You can have kids learn about different things related to the Civil War and then put them on a map. So there you can see I've got my three points. So the Confederates were here. Some of them marched directly along Route 30 here. Some of them marched right here. Some of them again took this route up through Shippensburg, uh, up to Carlisle, and then came down uh, Route 34 here down to Gettysburg. So I can, if I want to, I can draw a line that shows some of that. So I'm going to draw a line. So I'm going to go from Chambersburg up here to Carlisle. And I can come down here to Chambersburg. Damn it. So now if I want to, I can draw a line between these two these points. So I can say I want to draw a line from Chambersburg. I'm going to come up here to Carlisle. And then I'm going to come down to Gettysburg. And this is uh, Confederate march to Gettysburg and they took that route and I can see it actually tells me that that's 56 miles now that's pretty much a straight line but if you look that way going that way it's about 56 miles up to Carlisle and then back down to Gettysburg we can take our ruler tool and measure measure distances we know that the troops were that they took route 30 along here to Chambersburg so if we want to click here we can kind of follow a little route trying to get an idea what this might be follow this all the way down into Gettysburg it's about 25 miles right here to Gettysburg so it's just an easy little way for you to be able to get s your students to practice some map skills and be able to place some markers on the uh, on the map I can change this one here to uh, gray if I wanted to so I can change them from blue and gray and I can say that you know the Confederate forces or the Union forces I can put one down here they were actually down here in Tawny Town uh, Union troops if I click Save I can make 
blue so I can do the difference between them I can go back and edit and if I do T There were Union troops in Westminster. Down here, there were troops in Tawnytown. So again, they were all headed up to try to get into and meet the troops at Gettysburg. So just a little way for you to be able to um, get your students to do some map skills, to put some places on a battlefield or on a, on a map, measure some distances between them. You know, from there, you can then start to talk about you know, the average, you know, how long would it take to walk that? You know, get your students outside if they walk around, um, if you have a track near your school. You know, measure the time that it takes them to mark to walk 400 yards, you know, around the track one time. And what is that? You know, if they were running, how long would it take if they were running? But most of the, you know, the soldiers were not running, they were walking. So if it takes them, you know, if it's four times around the track, for a mile how long does it take them to do that and then how long would it take them to march 25 miles so little ways that you can be able to to get kids to think about how they might be able to to do this and how long something may have taken the, you know a soldier to get from point a to point b during the american civil war if you have questions be sure to look me up i'm over at teachthecivilwar.com